statistics are startling. 70% of drivers use their smartphone when they're behind the wheel. But today, people are getting a first-hand look at just how dangerous this practice can be. It's a virtual reality simulator that shows just how real the dangers of texting and driving can be. Something Kelly Reed says she sees all the time. You're sitting in traffic even, and you look to your right or your left, and there's someone texting because you think you're stopped. And it's safe to do it, but it's not. Reed tried the simulation to see firsthand just how unsafe it is. The experience shocking. It's crazy. I mean, I just all I wanted to say was stop texting the whole time. Like put your phone down. You know, there was kids walking, there was cars, like you almost ran right into one. It's crazy, it's sad. That's why this campaign called It Can Wait was launched five years ago by ATT. When we started the campaign, it was about texting and driving. And what we've found is over the years, as we've gotten more and more distracted behind the wheel, it's not just about texting, it's about emailing, it's about, you know, posting, selfing, taking a selfie. I gave it a try too. The driver is getting text messages and constantly looking at the phone to reply, narrowly missing kids on bikes, crossing the street, rear ending another driver before finally being involved in a serious accident. The response is overwhelmingly positive. A lot of people, it's a wake up call. You know, we interact. With people who say, I, I do it all the time. I'm always looking at my phone. And after just a three minute simulation, they, they, they tell us they'll never do it again. You always can pull over, maybe it's another option, or like wait till you're out the road. So the text will be there always. In Pittsburgh, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.